to all of you. The sun has risen above the horizon and we have all gathered here to witness the inaugural ceremony of Little Rock in the Garden 30th Annual Sports Meet. We, Jeshtaji Kamal and Shrida Shetty of, of Class 8 are extremely delighted to host this, this most spectacular event of Little Rock in the Garden. On this joyous occasion, we extend each one of you a hearty welcome. Sports and games stand for friendship, health, education and life. They bring the whole world together. Participating in sports make children learn the important life skills of goal setting and time management combined with enjoyment, the development of a strong sense of fairness and an appreciation of diversity. Get Set Go is the spirit of our eagerly waiting tiny tots who are all excited to perform and will give a splendid breathtaking performance in the presence of their parents, teachers and well-wishers who are always a motivating force for them to perform better. Our esteemed chief guest of today's ceremony, Dr. Shweta Vincent will be here with us in a few minutes. I request all of you to kindly rise. Our honored chief guest, Dr. Shweta Vincent, is accompanied by Director of the School, Professor Matthew C. Nainan, Principal of the School, Dr. John Thomas, Principal of Kindergarten, Mrs. Lali A. Matthew, and other dignitaries. Please remain standing. Let us all unite our minds and souls in the presence of God to seek His abundant blessings and divine guidance on this special occasion. to welcome everyone gathered here who has given their precious time to us by their presence on this memorable occasion. So, here we have Avya Nayak of UKGH to welcome the gathering. A very good morning to all. It's a matter of great pleasure to be at the opening ceremony of the annual sports day filled with excitement, joy and boundless energy. I am your future JH. I am here to extend a warm welcome to you all. On this momentous occasion, we remember our beloved founder, late Dr. Dr. C. T. Abraham, whose legacy continues to inspire and guide us. Though he is not with us, we are reminded of the special love and care he had for little children. I take this opportunity to welcome our director, Professor Matthew C. Nainan. Sir, your belief in the potential of 
every child has paved the way for young hearts to bloom. A genial welcome to you, sir. We are truly privileged to have our chief guest, Mrs. Shweta Vincent, the mighty Manipal, with us on this auspicious day. Madam, your presence adds tremendous value to this event. We welcome you most sincerely. A wholehearted welcome to the trustees and the heads of our our sister institutions, member and members of school managing committee. A sweet welcome to our principal, Dr. John Thomas, for his gracious presence. I would like to welcome our kindergarten principal, Mrs. Lali Imantu, who is a big and outstanding and inspiration to us. She is the guiding spirit behind all of our activities. A soothing welcome to you, madam. A warm welcome to the vice principals and the head teachers for the encouragement and support. We are overjoyed by the presence of a large number of encouraging parents and grandparents. Your parents your presence is a testament to the unwavering support you provide to us young athletes. An affectionate welcome to you all. A total welcome to the a total welcome to the members of the faculty and staff of Little Rock Indian School and Little Rock Kindergarten. A cheerful welcome to all my friends who are the heart and soul of this event. Once again, I welcome each one of you to this colorful day. Thank you and enjoy the thrill of sports day. Thank you, Avya. Class are a very popular way to express one's love and affection. We would like to extend a warm welcome by presenting a bouquet to our chief guest. I request Vibha R. Pujari of LKGD to hand over a bouquet to our chief guest as a token of our love and appreciation. Thank you, Vibha. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into visible are the best very ones that education at Little Rock Kindergarten is imbued with. The UKG children are all ready for the parade with all the eagerness, interest and spirit. The march past is about to commence. We have nine houses named after nine precious stones. Amethyst, Emerald, Jade, Pearl, Ruby, Sapphire, Turquoise, Topaz and Moonstone, all representing each class of UKG. The strength of the group is the strength of the leader. The school flag bearer is Shreyas Kumar of UKGI. The flag bearers of the various houses are Sannidhi Shetty of UKGA, Amethyst House, Zaira Grace Khans of UKGB, Emerald House, Adrika Vaishnavi of UKGC, Jade House, Samanyu Rajesh of UKGD, Pearl House, Dwani Prasanna of UKGE, Ruby House, Chandana N. Kanchan of UKGF, Sapphire House, Manasyu Shetty of UKGG, Turquoise House, Khazi Arshan of UKGH, Topaz House, Ditya R. Shetty of UKGI, Moonstone House. The chief guest will receive the salute from the different flag bearers. The flag will be lowered as a mark of honor and respect as each flag bearer reaches the salute base. There goes the band. The march pass has just begun. I request Mr. Alphonse Rodriguez, physical education teacher, to escort our chief guest to the salute base.
the school flag bearer Shreyas Kumar is saluting the chief guest. Amethyst is Amethyst House is giving salute to the chief guest. A stone of spirit. Amethyst is to serve as a stone of transfiguration and transformation, bringing harmony and peace. This house is headed by Sanidhi Shetty of UKGA. The chief guest receives a salute from Emerald House. Emerald is a symbol of loyalty, new beginning, peace and security. This house is headed by Zaya Grace Cons of UKGB. Jade House gives salute to the chief guest. Jade stands for courage, wisdom and harmony. It has been treated as a royal stone in many different cultures and is unique in myths that surround it. On the command of Adrika Vaishnavi of UKGC, Jade House gives salute to our chief guest. Pearl. Pearl is known as the queen of gems. It is the only gem that is organic in nature. Pearl signifies faithfulness, loyalty, innocence and purity. On the command of Samanyu Rajesh of UKGD, Pearl House gives salute to our chief guest. Ruby. Here we have the Ruby House being led by Dwani Prasanna of UKGE. Ruby symbolizes passion of love, courage, confidence, strength and success. This gem is called the King of Precious Stones. The Ruby House is now saluting our chief guest. Sapphire. Sapphire is a stone of intuition, creative expression and royalty. It strengthens the heart and muscles and endows a person with courage. Sapphire House is led by Chandana and Kanchan of UKGF. The chief guest receives a salute from Sapphire House. Turquoise. Turquoise House led by Manas Yusheti of UKGG is now marching towards the salute base. Turquoise is the symbol of friendship. It helps opening lines of communication between heart and the spoken words. The, the chief guest now received the salute from the turquoise house. Topaz. Topaz is a crystal of truth and forgiving. It is a lovely stone that brings joy and peace. This house is headed by Kazi Ashin of UKGH. They are giving salute to the chief guest. Moonstone. The meaning of moonstone lies within its energy. This house is headed by Ditya Arshati of UKGI. It can nourish, give passion and awaken your energy. The chief guest now receives salute from the moonstone house. Moonstone is perpetually embraced with gleaming white energy that makes it a protective gem. I request Mr. Alphonse Rodriguez to escort the chief guest back to the days. Thank you ma'am and thank you sir.
It was indeed a wonderful sight to see our kids marching to the beats of the band. Congratulations children for that spectacular event. Let's give them a big round of applause ladies and gentlemen. Now I request Mrs. Anupama Juliana, physical education teacher to escort the chief guest Dr. Shweta Vincent to the flag mast. The kindergarten flag will be hoisted now and the children will honor the flag with a salute. I request everyone to stand up. Thank you ma'am the chief guest will now be escorted back to the pavilion please be seated i request our chief guest dr shweta vincent to declare open our 30th annual sports meet i hereby declare the 30th annual sports meet of the little rock kindergarten open thank you ma'am we shall have the oat taking ceremony now A physical education teacher Mrs Anupama Juliana will administer the oath The house captains are marching forward with their flags to take oath Children please stretch your right arm palm facing the ground respecting the rules and regulations which govern them and participate in them in the true spirit of sportsmanship for the honor of our school and for the glory of sports children please lower your hands we can see the house captains fixing the flags at the allotted spots Ladies and gentlemen please fasten your seat belts because there is yet another breathtaking performance by the UKG children they are all ready to set the ground ablaze with their wonderful performance coming up now is the master drill
Thank you children. What a euphoric performance. You deserve a loud round of applause. The children participating in the song are requested to move towards the pavilion. Now I request all other children to squat on the ground. Every program has a central message that comes from the honorable chief guest of the function. It is indeed a privilege to introduce today's chief guest, Dr. Shweta Vincent. Dr. Shweta Vincent is an associate professor in the Department of Mechatronics, MIT Manipal. She has over 15 years of work experience in academia and industry. She is a passionate researcher and educator in the field of machine learning, optimization and wireless communications. She teaches and mentors undergraduate and postgraduate students, conducts research projects and publishes scholarly articles. She has a PhD in Computer Science Engineering from Cardinia Institute of Technology and Sciences. At MIT Manipal, she is the Curriculum Coordinator for BTEC in Mechatronics and the PAQYC Coordinator for the department. She has received the Best Teacher Award in Computer Science Engineering in 2012 from Karunya University. She is a parent of Tanya S. De Gupta, who is studying in Class 2 in our school. We are fortunate to have Dr. Shweta Vincent as our chief guest today. We are eagerly waiting to listen to today's message by our chief guest. May I now request the chief guest, Dr. Shweta Vincent, to address the gathering. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Yes, that's more like it. It gives me immense pleasure to stand before you today as the chief guest of this program. I am grateful to Professor Matthew C. Nainan, the director of LRIS, Mrs. Lali Abraham Matthew, the kindergarten principal, and Dr. John Thomas, the principal of LRIS, for having granted me this opportunity. Dear ecstatic parents of the KG children, I'll make my oration as short as possible so we can witness our tiny tots in action. As I pondered upon what I should speak about today, an idea dawned on me. I thought, why not draw a comparison between two generations of individuals in terms of their lifestyles in order to emphasize the crux of my oration? And instead of choosing two fictional or famous personalities with whom we may have difficulty relating to, I've decided to give you a glimpse of my childhood and compare that with my daughter's. My daughter is just about your son or daughter's age, and therefore you and I fit into the Gen Z or the generation of millennials. Our children belong to the generation commonly termed as Gen Alpha. I spent my childhood in a hill station tucked away in the Nilgiris of Tamil Nadu. As a child, I remember smelling the air filled with eucalyptus trees, plucking wildflowers on the road to school, and riding my tricycle down the slopes only to crash land into puddles of rainwater. I remember stealing strawberries from our neighbor's kitchen garden and playing gully cricket with my friends on the street. As I grew up, I played badminton in school and even in 11th and 12th, which are the most crucial academic years in one's life, I've cycled almost 10 kilometers every day up and down to attend math coaching classes. I'm sure that each of us parents would have such lovely memories of our school days. Moving over to the Gen Alpha to which our children belong. My daughter joined LKG at LRIS the same year when COVID hit the world. Her childhood bore a stark contrast from mine. As a mother, it was heartbreaking for me to see her sit before a computer to attend online classes during the most beautiful and lively period of her life. The first year of her schooling was restricted to a single room with only dolls for friends. My husband and I tried to keep her occupied with painting and other indoor games. However, none of that was enough for us to quench her curiosity to know what lay outside the four walls of our flat. By the grace of God, when life came back to normal after COVID, she joined UKG at LRIS in the offline mode, and she's been loving school since then. Now, this was just a difference in our childhood. 
Let me now give you a difference between the academics of us parents and our children. With the new education policy being rolled out, there is an enormous disparity between what we studied in school and what our kids currently study in school. Subjects such as machine learning, artificial intelligence and robotics, which are currently taught in BTEC second and third year onwards, will be a part of our children's school curriculum from as early as class 9. This could even change further. Therefore, the rat race to get our kids into medical and engineering colleges is going to escalate exponentially. And if this isn't daunting enough, listen to this. According to the WHO, over 1.5 million teenagers and young adults aged between 10 to 24 years of age died in 2021, which makes it about 4,500 every day. According to their study, half of all mental health disorders in adulthood start by the age of 14, but most cases are undetected and untreated. In India, a seven-month-long survey was conducted by a gynecologist in different schools and colleges in Navi, Mumbai, to find out the risk factors linked with the changing lifestyle. The main causes lift, listed for lifestyle diseases are lack of physical activity and irregular food habits. The study revealed that almost 70% of teenagers in India are at a risk of developing lifestyle diseases such as obesity, cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, chronic liver and chronic kidney diseases. Well, on the bright side, statistics are a bit like spinach or bitter gourd juices, which are hard to swallow at first, but they're good for us in the long run. So let's just try to sprinkle some optimism onto those numbers. According to an article published by the National Library of Science of Sweden, there, there are several long-term benefits of playing a sport. A 20 to 30% reduction in depression, dementia, and other related symptoms has been observed in kids who are involved in physical activity. Therefore, dear parents, the only way to protect our children in the long run from all of these diseases is regular physical activity. We have to radically change our mentality when it comes to bringing up our children. As good parents, let's prioritize nurturing the passions and well-being of our children over pressuring them to excel academically because a balanced, joyful upbringing paves the way for lifelong success. Engaging in sports fosters teamwork, leadership and trust. It provides a healthy outlet for emotional expression, contributing to emotional balance. Therefore, let's not just raise successful students, let's nurture resilient, compassionate and well-balanced individuals. In wrapping up, let's remember that life is not a multiple choice test. It's more like a lively game of kabaddi with unpredictable moves. Let's teach our children to strategize, to tag along and to laugh. Let's give them the liberty to participate, to fall down, to bruise their knees and to eventually get up. After all, the best grades in life come from a well-played game and not just acing the exams. So here's to raising a generation of Kabaddi champions who would boldly raid the future. With that, I come to the end of my talk. I hope I have been able to motivate you and alter your perception of success. Thank you, dear parents of Gen Z, for your patient listening. May God be our guide as we raise the Gen Alpha. God be with you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your encouraging words. Now, I request all the children to move towards the pavilion. I request the teachers and teacher aides to lead them. Can you imagine your life without music? It's almost impossible. Where words fail, music speaks. Here are our tiny thoughts of UKG to sing a melodious song for you all. <laughs>
Thank you, children. Ladies and gentlemen, within a few minutes, our children will be presenting very colorful displays. Isn't it tremendous how the world comes alive when music fills the air and feet begin to tap a rhythm that delights the heart? That's the beauty of dance that we're about to experience now. Here are the tiny tots of play school welcome you all with their energetic performance. Morraka, matraka, vandache, diva. Morraka, matraka, tavi adam puva. Mafraka, metarika, yukuda adam diva. Mafraka, metarika, life a dancing show. Hey! Now Michael Jackson, nalabu, 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 nalabu,
I'm sure everyone over here is also waiting to see the excitement and fun when our children participate in the various sports events. It's time to thank everyone who has helped us with the inaugural ceremony of our sports meet. Now, I request Sharva of UKGB to deliver the vote of thanks. A delightful morning to everyone present here. On behalf of all, I Sharva of Class UKGB deem it a great honor and privilege to stand before you to express our sincere gratitude to everyone present here. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our beloved director, Professor Matthew C. Nainan, who has magic in his thoughts for the betterment of institution. I wish to accord my sincere vote of thanks to you, sir. A special thanks to our Chief Guest, Mrs. Shweta Vincent, MIT Manipal, for accepting our invitation and sparing her precious time with us. Thank you, Madam. I extend my sincere thanks to the trustees and heads of the sister institution and members of school managing committee for their presence and support. Principal Dr. John Thomas presence is an encouragement for all of us. My sincere thanks to you, sir. I take immense pleasure in thanking our kindergarten principal, Mrs. Lali M. Matthew, the guiding spirit behind the success of all our activities. A loving thanks to you, ma'am, for being with us at all times. A bunch of thanks to our vice principals and head teachers of Little Rock Indian School. I thank all the parents and grandparents who have raised this program with their loving presence and shared our happiness. We are grateful to you all. Many of the teaching and non-teaching staff of Little Rock Indian School have extended their help in making this day a successful one. I express my profound gratitude to them. I feel privileged to thank all my dear friends for their magnificent performance. Thank you, friends. Finally, with deep sense of appreciation, I thank all the KG teachers and teachers for their timely help and effort in making this day a significant and memorable one. Once again, I thank each one of you for being with us and sharing our joy today. Thank you. Thank you, Sharva. Now, I request Samanvi S. of LKGB to present a memento to our chief guest as a gesture of our love and gratitude. Thank you, Samanvi. Now, all the children will go back to their respective classes for their refreshments. I request all the teachers and teacher aides to accompany them. Now, we have come to the end of this opening ceremony. I request all of you to kindly rise when the dignitaries leave. It was a great pleasure for us. J. Staji Kamal and Shrida Shetty comparing the program this morning. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.